Welcome to Nerd Central. Got a uh, little bit to share today. Camera modified for near infrared light sensitivity. I've also got a beer, so life is good. Ballast Point Grapefruit Sculpin. Note the colors in the label for future reference. So, I've recently got the camera modified for near infrared light. I've also got a near infrared filter. This is the filter, which to my eyes looks nearly opaque to a regular camera with normal filtering. It should look pretty much opaque as well. This is a Lego remote control, which when I push the button, in theory should be shining out an infrared light, which should shine right through this, but I can not tell the difference. So, also got surrounding uh, foliage and uh, blue sky, which uh, at this time of the, this late hour of the day should have minimal infrared light. So this is a this is a B and W uh, number zero nine two uh, infrared filter. I bought this about twenty years ago for infrared film, but haven't really been able to use it with digital cameras until this recent modification. So holding this up to the lens, you can see what it looks like. But switching over to broad sensitivity. Here's the filter. And holding up to the lens. There's the effect. So, let's uh, do a little bit of experiments. Normal light, infrared light. Normal light, you can see it's quite dark. Infrared light. Now with a modified camera sensitive to a much broader set of wavelengths, we can attach an infrared filter and see some pretty interesting things that you can't otherwise see with a digital camera. Note my, note the foliage in my uh, surroundings, brilliantly reflective in the near IR. Chlorophyll absorbs near red light, well, red light, and it absorbs blue light, reflects green, so it looks green. However, in the near infrared, it's also highly reflective, and so with an infrared filter that passes only infrared light, it looks white. I don't know if you'll be able to make out the label on my grapefruit sculpin, but uh, my suspicion is that it's not IR or IR sensitive, so probably won't see it. Also, this is the cool thing: the remote control for Rowan's Lego uh, car. Theoretically, you can see lights flashing. So, good times. Welcome to the world of near infrared.